So we've done medieval and we've done shopping. Well, we're going to do that again. Now it's time to go back to the jungle in the Legacy SMP. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Legacy SMP server. I am flying around, well, frankly, because I can, but I'm going to the shopping districts. I'm very excited. There's so much going on. Hang on, I can't work out which way I'm going. I'm going to have to turn that way or I was going to crash. There's so much going on on the server at the minute, and most recently, really excitingly, Python MC joined. The I'm so excited. Python's on the server. It's going to be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to working with him. It's going to be amazing. So that to come. I've realised that he is the only person I've ever met that's a bigger Game of Thrones fan than I am. And as a result, he's doing the wall. It's going to be brilliant. I reckon I'm going to have to do some kind of complimentary build when I go over to Winter Wonderland. Maybe I can do something beyond the wall. Maybe I could do something Castle Blackwise. Where am I? There you go. I could do Castle Black. I could do. So there's so many things I could do that's complimentary to that. It'll be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. But first off, I've had a message saying stock out all it said was stock out so i need to come and see what's going on first off coming in here i do like i, I like the build however the shop hasn't been the most successful shop i've ever had so i'm just looking i don't think these are the ones that are going to be stocked out at all are they not remotely i don't feel i've sold any i might have to revisit the prices of this particular shop because they're just not for and i know potions are a slow mover i know and i expected them to be slow moving but not a sausage, not a mythical sausage on that one. I might have to revisit the prices on that. They might be a little high. I've been accused of them being a little high, but that means that our brand new shop, the nether shop, perhaps has been a little more successful. Oh, I like this. That's nice. I think Chimney Swift did that. That's, that's really nice, Chim. Nice job, mate. Right, so Logic, come on. Sort out your shop. Sort of get more people up here. So we, who left my door open? Who left the door open? Don't leave the door open. Somebody will walk in and it will blow up the shop and that would be bad. Right, so what have we got or not got? Soul sand. That's all there. Nether wart. That's all there. Never wart. Oh! Stack of never wart. I'll come back to that in a minute. Gravel. No one's bought me gravel. Never bricks. No one's bought them. Red never bricks. No one's bought them. Glowst <gasps> Glowstone, I'll be gone. <gasps> and the glowstone, <laughs> oh, the glowstone's popular, isn't it? Blimey. Magma cream still there. Blaze rods, all the blaze rods are gone. Magma block, never rack, never bricks. Quart <gasps> the quartz was all gone. The <laughs> We've done all right, people. Look at, <gasps> oh my goodness. Four diamonds, why have I got extra diamonds? Why have I got an extra diamond in there? I'm, I'm confused, but that's loads of diamonds. Right, get get these diamonds. Get them all. Get them all quick. We only went and got 38 diamonds. You wouldn't believe it. What's up, baby chicken? You're like a little baby George. Neither of you are George. I don't think George is going to meet me on this server, but you never know. Maybe he will. That would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? But, yeah, 38 diamonds. 38 diamonds. I'm all right with that. You know, I think that is not too shabby. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to have to replenish all this stock, aren't I? I feel another never grind coming on, which is always good. I do enjoy a good never grind. It could be fun. But blaze rods, never quartz, um, a little bit of nether, nether rat, but that, nether wart, wasn't it? But that's fine. I've got loads of that at the base. And what was the other thing? Uh, glowstone. Glowstone's a bit tougher to get hold of, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Let's crack on. I'm going to go and do a bit of a never run, I think. I think that's the next thing before we do anything else. You may notice that there is something different about my house. I've taken out all of that never wart because I've got so much growing downstairs. I don't need it up here. Given in myself masses more space, brought the stairs along one, meaning I've got more room on either side of them to be able to get by. And I think I might even bring them along one more, to be honest, so it really opens it up. Not entirely sure. And frankly, I think it's going to be great. I've got loads more room. Once I've got all these chests out of the way, that's going to be brilliant. What I have noticed, though, is apart from a silk touch, which I've got mending on it, these mending stuffs, they need to be mended before I go anywhere. So I'm going to have to go and see Logic in the Ender Ender and get myself some serious XP to mix up these mending tools. But first off, I need to go and get mending on the silk touch. I'm not entirely sure why, but I just bought five mending books 
because all of a sudden I got a few diamonds and they burn hole in my pocket. And as a result, I just had to buy five. I figured there's got to be other stuff I need to mend. So I'm going to put mending on everything. Flip! Seriously! You changed my sign! For goodness sake, right, I'm going to let you have it just for a little while. But I can feel changing that back in not too long. I'm going to give you a week and maybe someone else will take it. But I d it's got to go. I am going to do this the scary way and try and land on the helicopter pad which fills me with a little bit of a uh, little bit of dread to be honest with you but I'm going to give it a go anyway and we're going to see if we can't oh I only went and done it look at that goodness me hi Sean right so I'm coming through because I, I'm utterly unmended Right, place a diamond in the chest and the door will open briefly. Yes, it will. Right, so if I get one diamond, I need to be very quick with this and because I tried uh, and it, it just didn't it didn't work. So, well, it did work. What? Are you just, just going to open that? Oh, you're right. Don't have to pay anymore. That's quite nice. I'm happy about that. Right, so what I need to do is get myself properly tooled up because, frankly... <laughs> I need as much as I can get. I've got such appalling, let's put that there, such appalling um, levels of XP at the moment. I've got to mend everything. So let's crack on with that. This thing is brilliant, if not a little bit loud. This Endermelon, absolute logical geek boy genius. Look, I'm completely fixed up with everything. That's not got many because it's got Infinity, which I prefer. All of my armor sorted, and I've still got 34 levels of XP, which I couldn't help but collect. It's absolutely superb. I now need to go to the Never, get a load of stuff, and replenish my shop. I'm not going to bore you with more Never antics, I don't think, anyway, unless something really exciting happens, because that was what our last episode was. You know what, I'm not sure what the hardest part of the grind is, you know, whether or not it's the Wither Skulls, of which I've managed to get absolutely none yet, or Glowstone. Because Glowstone is a pain. Especially, the further you go out, the less you get, because, hang on, oh, get myself back here, because, frankly, it doesn't respawn, does it? So, once it's gone, it's gone. So, I might have to open up, I might have to find a witch up, you know, then get that Glowstone and make Glowstone out of that. That might be the way forwards, because at the minute, Glowstone is a serious grind. What have I got so far? Not even two stacks of it yet. We are all restocked, well, with the exception of quartz blocks that I realised, actually, this is way, way underpriced. I've got 32 quartz blocks for one diamond, whereas 64 of them is one diamond. How does that work? That needs to be higher. So I'm going to pop quartz blocks at two diamonds a stack. Two D diamonds per stack. There you go. I mean, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. I'm grossly undercharged. And then it makes it worth me doing that, doesn't it? Otherwise, what's the point? You just buy loads of it. it anyway, that's that's the right price. I'm happy, but we've got quartz ore now. We've got that. It's all good. Right, now, should we get on with an episode? I cannot believe I have no spruce wood. I've got dark oak. I've got oak. I've even got some birch. And frankly, why would I want that? But I've got no spruce. And I think I want to use spruce to offset the palette just a little bit when we're talking about um, talking about the jungle tree. Why am I cutting that one? Let's come up with the dark oak. So I've got dark oak. I think it's dark oak's too dark for the jungle or at least sometimes it's going to be too dark oak is going to be way too much like jungle wood in terms of its color so spruce is quite a good just offset against some of these others so i'm just going to collect up some of this and then we're going to get ourselves over to the jungle and see if we can't do a little bit more there it's going to turn dark and it you know it is i actually thought i'd come over to the adventurers guild and see if there weren't a few and i'll just close this door in case someone creeps up behind me and see if there weren't anything that i could have a quick go now i'm already a member so i could already do this there's oh we're not exactly oh we're not replete with quests are we ha always the last one right so what is this let's have a look quest perhaps it's an e-quest it's not a quest it's an e-quest one trader village ahead must be a fresh head no old ones from weeks ago. uh you know what i might have a go at that let's Let's see if we can't find ourselves a trader villager, a wandering trader. Because, frankly, I, I seem to get quite a number of these. But now there is the quest on. Um, Flip has put on the 
the questing for get as many trade villages heads as we possibly can, it might not be easy to do because they don't generate so much all the time now. But I can't use one of my old heads, which is a bit of a shame. So on the side, we're looking for wandering traders as well. There aren't any. They normally hang out by my house. But they're not doing today. Oh, well. Well, should we get ourselves over to the jungle? Right, I've not been here in a little while. Also, there's a bit of a portal wars thing going on. I might have to do something with this one. But let's just try and just check that it hasn't fallen over. Because it's been a little while. No, nope, we are still good. Oh, it's night time. Right, so I need to come across and uh, get myself sleeping at the very least. And hopefully nothing will come and eat my face. And then we can start. I'm not entirely certain what it is I want to do. Apart from one thing. <laughs> Jim's also put something in here that's hilarious. Now, rather nicely, all the vines are growing down around the treehouse, which is exactly what I wanted. However, the tree houses are a little bit plain, so I need to get uh, some fencing around it and stuff like that. And there's also one thing I wanted to do off of this particular one, which means I'm going to have to build it up because I want to do a runway with working lights. It might be ambitious. I'm just saying that now but I'm going to give it a go I've tried it in Alpha Craft in the last season and it sort of worked I'm going to see if I can't do it a little bit better on this one so should we have a go at building
I'm having just a little break from the building to come over to Gems Farm because at Gems Farm there is a really interesting little challenge. Oh, it's night time. Uh, so I'm coming over. So this is Gems' little pumpkin house over there. It's beautiful build is this but i'm coming to this little hunting lodge because it's hunting season we're coming in here and close the door because it's night time we're coming here because it is hunting season for this fella now i do have all I, I did a float then i do have a bit of previous with this guy's family as you probably realize but now we have hunting season for the wandering change if you're up for the challenge to join the lodge you must pay one diamond but don't block don't block Goodness me. Rename it in your name and add it to the barrel. Hunting season begins soon. It's actually, literally, as I record this, was announced an hour ago. Scoring one point per trade ahead and half a point per trade alarm ahead. Oh, I've not had any of them yet. And winner takes all the diamond blocks. But they're all renamed blocks, aren't they? So that'd be a bit rubbish. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all about... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's about prestige. So let's get a little piece of... No, you've got to turn it into a... There's a crafting table. Got to turn it into a block first. Bump like that. Let me just check. Here we go. Everyone's in. Right, so I'm just going to go block of diamond. Ammermans. That fella is now in. Into the barrel. There we go. We are actually just make it all nice line. So who's in? Solidarity. Me. Vigo. Nash. Chim. Logic. Fwip. Slice lime. Germsy. Gem and sausage are all in it right so this is serious that now I, I need to go i need to go hunting i wonder if we'll find any that'd be interesting i i've not seen since that last one i've not actually seen a wandering trader and i wonder if it's because they're all scared because i know it's hunting season anyway let's get back to the build because i need to finish it we are here at the build but but that's funny how he didn't want to walk on there that's really strange come on then i'm, I'm not going to cure you because I love you. Oh, I got a head. I got a head. Oh, oh. Let's just pop that on. Hang on. That's funny. Will, will they not recognize me now? Would you, I've never looked so gorgeous. That's quite enough of that frivolity. Right. So I'm just going to introduce you to this base. Now, I've not kind of internally based it out anything. But the structure itself is sorted. Perhaps a little bit more detail. But this is it. This is them. So you row up and you walk up. and Oh, for goodness sake. It's... There's no rest for the wicked, is there? I must have been very wicked. Right, so you come along up the swooping stairs to the top here. And I'll get rid of all this stuff. It's fine. Come, coming up here. Up, up, up. I can't walk up. Up, up, up. All the way to the top. And then you've got... I've kind of separated this up with trapdoors there. Look, just to make it so as I don't fall off. Because I probably will. And then you've got this beautifully covered over with the things coming down. The vines. And then I'm going to come to that. And this is the landing strip. And the landing strip has lights coming. Should we do it? Should we do it? There we go. So I'm just going to fly in. Now, I've already died once doing this as a result of um, kinetic energy. But I'm coming in, swooping, gliding carefully. I'm going to time this very badly. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, my goodness. Come on, you got to do better than that, mate. Blimey. Right, so let's try again. So he's swooping in. He's coming up. He's swooping in nicely. And he's... Just done it perfectly, and we've got the lights coming in like that. Perfect. Right, then we come around here, and then across the bridge also that's been separated using trap doors. We've got a nice open space here, and then again, the winding staircase that's protected off with more trap doors. That means you can come out to the roof should you wish to, all the way up to the top here, coming up and around. Don't worry about the vines, they're just there for show. Coming up, 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 up to the top is a very long windy staircase until you get to the top which is the lookout tower which you can jump on those and don't jump off because it is very very dangerous but you've got an amazing view of this entire kind of the jungle area there you've got the landing strip over there come up this way look you've got more jungle you've got the mesa i'm actually really pleased with the way this fella turned out that looks like a half decent tree house. All the supports are on there. There's another support under my feet here. So as it's not just sticking out like a big old diving board. And all I need to do really now is bring in some barrels and some storage and stuff like that. Which I'll do. That wasn't really part of the build. I'm really pleased. 
the jungle tree house is sorted so medieval zone check jungle tree house check what is going to be the next zone that i work on i'm not actually not sure yet i'm not decided but i do have something else planned for the shopping district which may be the next episode if you have enjoyed that video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying them and i will keep on making also if you're not done already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye